In this video I'm going to try to solder a brass tube, a small brass tube with a solder rod which is almost triple its size and of course I will fail. I'm currently working on a filament joining rig and now the question is why? Why didn't I just use a filament runout sensor? That's a valid question. My reasoning is that if the filament runs out, I have to get inside to replace it. This enclosure is kept at a temperature of 60 degrees. I think that if I'm going to open this door, then I will let cold air in, which will cause that uh, print to fail. Maybe I could have used some reverse Bowden system and tried to push it all the way through. I thought that was a bit too cumbersome. Another interesting thing was the Mosaic pallet. It isn't officially capable of joining ABS. I want to take a step further, maybe in the future, of uh, printing nylon or polycarbonate and the mosaic as it is right now isn't capable of joining those filaments. 3D for Makers, my filament sponsor, is working on getting larger spools but in the meantime I still want to know how I can reliably join filaments. So I'm going to dive deeper into that in this video. So let's go straight to my computer. Okay, I have designed this filament joining rig and it uses the stock mainboard of the Creality printer, which I had left. So I could use this to heat up this heater over here. And it has this small tube here at the center, which is split in half. And I have bought some brass tubes, which almost had the exact <laughs> diameter of 1.7. But I need 1.75, but I've bought some tooling for that. This tube is cut in half, so it can be separated from each other. So if I'm going to re-spool it, then I don't have the tube constantly around that filament. This tube is placed into this caliper and this caliper is made out of brass. It looks like it's a shame to destroy a caliper for that, but it, uh, it costs a whopping two euros and 99 cents. So I've bought a few of them and <laughs> that's used to, um, <laughs> to hold both of these tubes. Everything is brass so it conducts heat pretty well and at the ends if I don't cool it then the filament will melt at the end as well and I hope if, if I add these two coolers here then this will remain cold. I will start with the most difficult part of adding these two halves into this brass caliper and then to the fun part of putting everything together. I've got this miniature workshop And I'm going to make this thing a reality. I already printed this piece in which I can put this tube to make it a half tube. I just, I cannot simply cut this in half because that would create a seam. I already printed everything. I got all parts here. And now I can make a fun compilation in which I'm going to put everything together. <laughs>
Okay, let's put this thing to the test. I've got different types of filament. I've got some PLA, PTG, 5 kilos of ABS, uh, nylon, polycarbonate, nylon with carbon fiber. Uh, first I'm going to try to join this old PLA. Well, the ends are cold, but I'm pushing it away from each other. So I have to clamp this together. So I have to come up with a clamping mechanism here at the ends. Oh. The diameter of this filament is 1.8, therefore it doesn't fit. Let's try the ABS from uh, 3 e makers. ABS. One point seven five. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I tried a few more times, but I kept failing. I've modified this heater block so it would fit better, but that didn't work either. The problem is that all the heat is going to the scalloper, and the scalloper is here at the center. So all the heat is guided away from the point where the filament should melt. So <laughs> it melts everywhere except <laughs> at the center where they should join. I think I've got an idea which might work. Let's join some filament. Time for plan B. I wanted to make a system which is reliable and consistent. But um, it was a nice experiment and still a lighter and a brass tube is a lot easier and works better. So what have you learned from this experience?
this is not my most successful project. <laughs> I think that all our ingredients are here. It heats up where it should heat up. It is cold where it should be cold. It was fun to do. I've learned a lot. I came up with a great idea to do with these brass tubes, which is totally unrelated to this project. But if I didn't start this project, I wouldn't come up with this idea. And that will be an idea for a future video. If you have an idea and you aren't sure if it works, I wasn't sure if it worked, but it had a small chance. To see if you can do that project. You never know if it would work and if it fails, you will learn and maybe you come up with different ideas. Not all my projects will be a success on this channel. I've received these 5 kilo spools so I can continue on printing those rims. Check out the website 3 makerscom They have some great materials, not only ABS and PLA, but also more professional materials like Peak, Pack and Ultim. So thanks a lot for this material. Thanks a lot to all my sponsors and to all my Patreons without your help. These videos wouldn't be possible. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Because I also have projects which aren't failing. So thanks again for watching if you made it all the way to here. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye.